Mason's done pretty well, completing almost 65% of his passes so far. Four touchdowns, two picks. Really gained a lot of confidence in that game against Georgia Tech. They were down 20 to nothing, and he led the comeback. The ankle cost him three and a half games and cost Georgia valuable positioning. Offense, but Mason does a great job in the pocket just waiting for the tight end to clear. And here, he was such a concern, and boy, did they grow as the season went on. And incomplete, almost a shoe top catch. First and 15 for Mason. Play action fake to Gurley this time, and they'll throw to the tight end. That with the rain, I think, can start making it tough when guys get near the sideline and make cuts. Play action fake to Gurley again. Mason on the run throws it away. Mason looks to the right, then goes back to his tight end again, the third catch. Obviously the SEC championship, but potentially the BCS title before things really kind of fell apart in the middle of the season with injuries. Mason under pressure and down he goes. Gurley to his left. Gurley out in the pattern and they're throwing for him. Get the big guy in space and let him do his thing. He's getting number three involved in the run game. Here he's going to end up one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, Michael Rose. And a nice little move. Rose just has no chance. The running back is Douglas. Trying to rotate three guys in and out of to keep Gurley fresh. So he's good to go in the fourth quarter. They said this defensive front looks like as good as they'll have had here over the next couple of years. And that's yeah. saying something. Third and eight over the middle of Lynch to tight end again. And does another good job working the pocket. He comes all the way back to Lynch. This was his second or third read, and now Mason on the run. Mason flushed. Can't get away, and then that could easily be intentional grounding. He just appeared. Intentional grounding. Offense, the quarterback was in the pocket, and there were no eligible receivers in the area. Well, that pretty much covered it all, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure did. But it's just like a sack. So now it's fourth down. The one thing, if you're going to coach Mason up, as it's a terrific rush by Greg McMullen. McMullen, one of the only defensive ends giving some depth with the suspension of Avery Moss. Moss not here for the bowl game for Nebraska. That was a nice job by McMullen. A great program. Uh, with some great coaches and some great friends some friends I'll have for the rest of my life and and like I said I really did cherish these past four years and and uh, looking to be a dog for the rest of my life now Give us a quick scouting report on Hudson Mason. He's a guy that has sat behind you for four years now You know him pretty well. Oh, he's tremendous. He's a, he's a heck of a ball player and uh, You know, he's gonna be great. He really did a great job of well, this is Rumpf, who's been battling a hamstring. They weren't sure how much they were going to be able to get out of him to play before. Excuse me, this is a play before. With the opportunity to play this series, and noon were out in the flat. When uh, Keith Marshall went down, he became a bigger part of the plan. Third and six for Mason. All day to throw. Lost it to the corner and incomplete. Gurley is the tailback. They'll send him out in the flat and throw to Gurley. Under three minutes with two timeouts. That took a lot of time for that play. This one thrown downfield to midfield to Chris Connolly. And that really were the difference in that game. None of those so far in this one. That was the first catch by a Georgia wide receiver. They wanted to set up a screen. Couldn't do it. They end up coming back to Michael Bennett. Mason pressure coming up the middle throws deep sideline again to his tight end Lynch What looked like a sure touchdown for a ball that hang hung in there Mason felt falling back a little bit. You know, that's one of the things the coaches are working with even with pressure you got to step in but Three-man rush swing to green Lost his footing gets back to the 21 yard line don't take away what this front seven has done and the improvement they've made over the season for Nebraska either. Mason under pressure, sidearms it to Gurley. What a play just to keep it alive. He threw it between two guys who were after him. Thad Randall nearly had him. 
Great job by the defensive front. Randall, you know, you get stuck in that place. What a side flip throw. <laughs> <laughs> Blitz coming. Mason to Gurley, and on cue, he dropped the ball. Four-man rush. Mason with a lot of time. Throws and throws it right to a defender. Josh Mitchell with the interception. But this ball just seemed to really float to the inside. Good physical coverage that time by Josh Mitchell. And he's going up against the gimpy Chris Connolly. Mason takes over from the 25 fake to Gurley. Mason over the middle, incomplete. That's going to draw a flag because George is so good at it. Mason underneath to Gurley, fighting for yardage. First down and more. Gurley. And one of the best for Nebraska, Siante Evans, could not make the tackle. That acceleration button's just not quite there for number three. Well, you got to love that kid. He's playing with great heart. For the end zone and overthrow. Get up to 260 or so during the offseason. He has been a load. For they can play here third and five. Gurley swings out. Instead, they throw to the tight end, Lynch. Well, it got close, but I think that's yeah, the that right was call. He was like, yeah. close. And they're going to have to throw this one away as Mason is under pressure. Another big third down. Mason with time, floats it to the sideline, incomplete, intended for Bennett. Eight-yard touchdown. But he's got a record that will never be beaten. It might be equaled, but... Mason, good pass protection. Again, they've done a nice job for him. Now he's flushed and throws it away. And Nick Saban may uh, be able to fire him up a little bit. Gurley. Play action fake to Gurley. Mason keeps the play alive and then throws it away by Nebraska. And of course, the injuries to top line players for Georgia. Quick throw complete. Mason under pressure, lost the ball for Georgia. But right now, they're down by a dozen as we go to the final 15 minutes from Jacksonville, Florida. Georgia still with two timeouts and their coach's challenge. Mason with time. Floats it to Gurley. And Gurley will walk in. Four-man rush, no pressure. Mason underneath. It would have been short of the first down anyway. To college football this year. We're with you from the TaxSlayer.com Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. Screen to Gurley. Slant caught at the 30-yard line by Chris Conley. Good catch there. Good throw by Mason on the slant. Fake to Gurley. Wide open, Bennett. And Bennett. Or excuse me, Georgia, when they lost sight of Anunwa, there was a slip at the line of scrimmage. Stanley Jean Baptiste. They have not been able to get Gurley going. They have Now they have the other runner in there. Mason short arms a little bit dropped by Lynch with Mason. We're going to leave in the hands of Mason. He throws over the middle. Let's take a look to see if Wooten. What a great read by Green. You must maintain mm, yeah. possession of the ball all the way through the catch. That is and not a catch. Did not. No. Cannot let them tick this clock down and get the touchdown. Down the middle, Conley makes the catch. To run down the middle of the field and puts a really terrific move on number 11, Green. Green was the guy who... Blitz. And Mason throws it away. Georgia just rushed up to the line. Really good push. What, what a nice game by David Andrews, the junior center. Because he, they, they, they still can pick up the first down. You'd waste them now. Fake to Gurley. There's a post and an incomplete pass to Wooten. 
They'll send him out over the middle. They're trying to check him down. The pass over the middle incomplete. 